What's up, everybody? Just want to go over the uh, God Roll Grenade Launchers in Destiny 2, especially if you don't have Anarchy for things like Prophecy Dungeon and things like that. Uh, just what you're looking for on these grenade launchers. Here's my Swarm of the Raven. It has an uh, auto-loading holster. Again, my Behringer's Memory. Uh, auto-loading holster, quick draw, uh, lots of velocity. Uh, my Field Prep. Full Court Love and Death and the Clown Cartridge Full Court Interference. What you're looking for on these grenade launchers is this one perk right here spike grenades. Grenades fired from this weapon to increase damage or direct hits. That's what makes them so powerful. If you get lucky enough to get one of the Clown Cartridge on it, it's really good. Auto load and holster is really good. Also, uh, if you can get one with Full Court, the farther you're away from something, might as well get that extra damage from a Full Court. That's the main thing. All four of these grenade launchers have spike nades on them. So here's the damage on them. Here's the swarm of the raven. They hit for about 15, 16,000. Let's switch over to Behringer's memory. Same thing, about 16,000. Love and death, which is getting sunsetted. 16,000 or so Yeah, if we was a little farther away probably do a little more damage and then here's the interference six Getting close to 20,000 so this is the the hardest hitting grenade launcher in the game It is getting um, It's not getting sunset as quick as the rest of them. It's a uh, power limits 1310 whereas the swarm and the Behringer are 1360 but the love and death is getting sunset after the season so uh there you have it be on the lookout and uh happy hunting